Hey, welcome to or back to Barbie Co Productions. If you saw the title, you'd know that today I'm doing a tutorial on three different ways to close your doll's eyes. So let's get started. This is the doll I'll be using today. And that's what she looks like brand new in box. So for method number one, I mixed a combination of burnt sienna, Naples yellow, and chocolate brown to make this color. So then you take your doll and a really fine paintbrush, but a toothpick works as well. And I just use the color to paint over the doll's eyes. Keep in mind that depending on which doll you use, you will have to make a different paint combination so that the color matches the skin tone. So it looks something like this. And now just repeat the same process, but on the other eye. And then you should have something that looks like this. And while I'm here, I'm just gonna to touch up her lips with my lip color. And there we go. Add a pillow, a cat, and some magazines. Oh, and don't forget your doll. And that is method number one. The second method is very similar to the first, but instead of just painting over the eyes, I remove them with 100% acetone. Quick disclaimer, if you're using acetone under the age of 13, please have parental supervision. Now that your doll has no eyes, I can't see, I can't see, I can't see. I take my rerouting tool with a very fine needle and some black hair. I got this on Etsy, but you could even just use a cheap wig if you wanted to. And now you have all the eyelashes rooted in. Normally I would just leave it here, but if you want extra security, you can glue them in via the inside of the head. Just using some tacky glue or PVA glue. After I trimmed all the eyelashes down, I decided it wasn't full enough. So I ended up adding a few more plugs to each eye. Also, when using method one and two, I prefer to have two separate dolls. 
so you can interchange between having an open eye doll and a closed eye doll. And it should look something like this. Add a pillow and your doll. And that is the second method. Next, I open the PixArt app and select the photo. And I scroll down to find the cutout tool and select outline. I zoom in and select the patch of skin just below her eye. And press the save button. And then undo. Press add photo and select the patch of skin. Next, just play around with it until you're happy. And don't delete the photo. But if you accidentally do like I did, you can just undo. Also, keep in mind, I don't do this technique all the time because I do prefer the painting options and the rooting eyelash options. But this is a great method to practice if you don't have two of your dolls. And then repeat the same process for the other eye. And once you're happy with it, just save the image. Here's how mine turned out. And that is the end of today's video. But wait, before you go, I have one question to ask you. Which method was your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. I also wanted to give a shout out to Strawberry Coconut and Love Maggie for leaving super sweet messages on my last video. And I would also love to give a big thank you to everybody else who has watched my videos, subscribed and liked my videos. You all mean the world to me and make me so much happier every day. Anyway, bye for now.